really shouldn't be boring. Like, who really wants to learn math like this? Please hang up and try again. Not I said the cat. So today I'm going to give you five really fun Zoom math games for remote learning. Hey fun people! Welcome back to Everything Aja. If you're new here, hey, I'm Aja. Here on Everything Aja, we are all about living life the fun way. Oh, 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 oh. Y'all, life is just way too short. So you know, you have to make everything fun. And we are all about building a community dedicated to shaping the future through fun and education. So why not do that even in math? So today I'm gonna give you five really fun math Zoom games for remote learning. And if you like what you see, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell. So our first math game is called Simon Says Math Style. I hope you guys remember how to play Simon Says. If you don't, Pretty much one person says, Simon says, touch your head. Everybody touches their head. Simon says, touch your nose. Everybody touches their nose. Simon says, touch your ear. Everybody touches their ear. Now, touch your mouth. If you touch your mouth and Simon didn't say touch your mouth, then eh, you are out of the game because Simon did not say to do that. So, in Simon Says Math Style, what you're gonna do is pretty much do the same thing. However, you are going to give a math problem. So you could say, Simon Says do three plus three head taps. Of course, the winner is the last person standing that didn't get out by doing something when Simon didn't say. Simon Says do four plus three jumping taps. Seven. the mystery number. You can also adapt this to any age group. So what you would do is have a child choose one number. Now I limited the number between 0 to 20 just because I didn't want it to be too difficult for the kids, but you can literally have them do 0 to 100. Now the key part of this game is everybody has to ask yes or no questions. So if you're dealing with older kids, you can actually force them to use math problems in trying to ask a yes or no question. So they can ask, is your answer above three times five? That means, is your answer above 15? And then the person could say yes or no. And this will force everybody to constantly kind of go over their facts. And if you have even older kids, you could even play this game with equations. Now, because I was dealing with younger kids, we kept it simple. Now, clearly, the object of the game is to be the one that actually guesses the number, but you're kind of working as a team, so you kind of want anybody to guess the number. Anybody at all. When you're ready to guess the number and you have a really clear idea of what the number is, a child can ask, is the number 15? And then of course, that's a yes or no question, so whoever has the mystery number would say yes or no. Is it greater than 16? No. Okay. Is your number a multiple of three? Can I skip count by three to your number? Yes. Okay. One of those. Is the number 15. Nope. No, okay. Is the number lower than 7? Nope. No. Is the number 9? Yes. Yay! Guess the mystery number. Our next game is the Beat the Buzzer game. And yes, I actually made my very own on-screen game. It was really fun to play this game. I actually did an entire video on Beat the Buzzer, so if you want to check that out, 
Go ahead and check that out after this video. The Beat the Buzzer game is a game that takes children through multiple rounds, and the object of the game is to make it to the very end. For each round, a child is only allowed to miss two answers, so the rounds consist of 11 questions, and they must get at least nine of them correct. And of course, throughout the 11 rounds, the time gets faster and faster and faster because you're trying to beat the buzzer at the end. So if a child makes it to the end, they won the game. And the cool part about this game is you can actually have a child play this game on their own and they will simply try to figure out if they can beat the buzzer by themselves and if they can't, then they must try to beat their highest round every time they play the game. Our next game is the Mad versus game. And this game is really fun and it makes kids kind of walk around the house and every child will go get two objects. And they will get as many of those objects as they possibly can grab within a certain time limit. So if you said, all right, everybody, I need you to go get two items and you have two minutes to get those items and you can grab different quantities of that object. So a child might find 15 forks and another child might find two bananas. So whatever two objects they wanna find, they can figure out exactly how many bananas or how many knives they have at their house. Then you will go one child at a time and have every child tell you and show you exactly what they brought. So they will show you their forks and they will show you their bananas. That is two bottles of medicine, three of these. Then you will write on the screen the number of objects they brought. So if you gave everybody a two minute timer and you had one child go grab five forks and two bananas, they would come back to the screen. Then once all the kids are back on the screen, you would then choose each child one at a time. On one child's turn, they will show you their objects. So they would show you their five forks and two bananas. Then you're gonna write those numbers using the whiteboard feature on Zoom or Teams, whichever one it is that you're on. And you're going to wanna write the biggest number first. Now, this helps because you can change this into any simple equation. So you can do five times three, or five minus three, or five divided by three, whatever it is that you wanna do. But it just allows kids to then work out those math problems in a very fun and unpredicted way. And of course, I have to make this competitive. So whoever types or says the answer first gets a point. And you could do three to five different equations for every math problem. That way you have enough points to spread the love. And then once you're done with one child, you just go to the next child, they show you their items, you write the numbers on the board, and then you do this whole process over again. Now, if you've already heard a math game that you're like, oh my goodness, I wanna play that game. Let me know down below in the comments, what is that game that you have heard? And you're like, I really want to play that game. And then I can try to give you guys some more games that you like. And if you're getting value out of these really fun math games, go ahead and like, subscribe, and click the bell. Our next game is Jeopardy. Yes, Jeopardy. Did you know that Jeopardy Labs already comes with already made Jeopardy games? All you do is get on there, find exactly what it is that your child needs to work on, and then you have your very own Jeopardy game. You can divide up kids into different teams so you can pretty much play this game with any number of children. All you do is divide them up in groups and there you have it. Okay. 79. Now team two. 46 plus five, that's kind of easy. 51. <laughs> Because I have another math game on there called Two Truths and a Lie 